How's it going everyone? Kane on Tiger here and welcome to my Christmas special of Kane Talks Games for 2020. And this shirt is fucking <laughs> huge on me. I, me and Luke bought these a couple of years ago and they were going to be for work and... Yeah, we went a bit too big on them but I thought, you know what, screw it. It's Christmas and I, I really like this <laughs> shirt. You know, it's Rudolph so I thought, you know what, it's time for something different because I do have my Avengers one and I do have that I'm um, Santa one with Batman and... I thought, screw it, I've got it, I'll just wear it, and at least it's comfy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I feel really bad that I missed out, you know, doing Halloween for my Kane Talks games, you know, the spe like a special, and I thought, it's not going to happen with Christmas, I am going to you know, make sure I do an episode for Christmas, even if, you know, I do run out of time, I mean, it's only the 18th, but, you know, if I do run out a little bit of time, I can always, you know, just within the time frame, you know, a few days after Christmas, but I'll probably get it uploaded by then, I've already got a couple of my... Christmas specials on my you know, Kane Hunts Taker channel already uploaded and ready to go. I just need to do one more, so yeah. Anyway, enough talk, let's get into this episode. Today, for this episode, Kane's Talks Games, or this Christmas special, I'll be talking about the Nintendo 64. The year 2000, Pokemon was just dominating. I, you know, 1999 was when it was, you know, it was introduced to the media and the world where or even like just in Australia when it started to kick off but the year 2000 man it was just Pokemon was life it was just all over the place and yeah me and Luke would and ev mind you, everyone in school you know we were just all over it, you know getting the Pokemon cards see me and Luke didn't get the games unfortunately we got Pokemon Silver you know much much later I think it was like 2001 but for Christmas that year me and Luke got the Pokemon Stadium, hang on. The Pokemon Stadium edition of the Nintendo 64. And holy crap, was that a fun, you know, morning. We would just, yeah, hang on, before we jump in. Yeah, there's the game as well. And we also got Pokemon Snap with it. But uh, yeah, that was a fun morning. Well, you know, dinner was being made. Me and Luke were just playing the Nintendo 64. And yeah, our parents were into it as well. Yeah, sort of, but yeah, they weren't, you know, playing the games and everything but you know they knew what Pokemon was and you know they always made sure me and Luke were you know if there was like something Pokemon related they'd be like hey boys look at that sorry Pokemon you know that kind of thing so you know our dad even jumped onto the Nintendo 64 that morning playing Pokemon Stadium with us and yeah I think we got a few um structure decks as well if I remember but yeah even the card game our dad was trying to teach us how to play it but it was so yeah I just remember it being so hard to remember but uh yeah, that was a, a really fun morning and we finally got a Nintendo 64 and that was just, you know, it was, unfortunately it was like near the end of the Nintendo 64's life cycle but it was fun while it lasted. Me and Luke did get a couple of good games for it at the time, you know, Pokemon Stadium for one, Pokemon Snap was a really fun one and uh, we even, about a, uh, after New Year's, we got Smash Bros and the Pokemon, you know, in that, you know, Pikachu and the Pokemon Stadium, or the Palette, I forget the, the level. Me and Luke were just playing that all the time, it was just, yeah, it was just a really fun time for Pokemon. Funny enough, I mean, I can't technically talk about this one. The following year, we got Pokemon Stadium 2, and it was even better because that year as well, I believe we got the Game Boy thing to play your car like the cartridge, because me and Luke got Pokemon Gold and Silver, you know, so we could, um, play through the Nintendo 64 but I won't get too much into that because that'll be you know that's going to be another Christmas if it you know maybe next year or you know after that but um we will talk about Pokemon Stadium this I remember this game being very bullshit but at the same time so much fun me and Luke never fully completed it though we got through the you know all the gyms and then we got through the Elite Four but all those pokey cups and everything we just always struggled and yeah, for some reason it's like hypnosis for example you use hypnosis and like miss 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 and then the critical hits were very very popular if you know what i mean like it just felt like you saw more of that in the game than you know the game boy games <laughs> there's so many moments where you think oh yeah i've beaten you boom critical hit and it's like where did that come from so yeah we pretty much played this one i just realized <laughs> It's Pokemon Snap. Oopsie. There's Pokemon Stadium and yeah, 
I'm so gutted. I think I threw out the box. I'm trying to, you know, get a box so I can keep it sort of safe. But um, I tell you what, I did uh, this for a Christmas special this year. I'll I'll spoil. I will we'll say I did this, you know, first episode. But oh, was it a disaster? I think my well, our me and Luke, our Nintendo 64 is on its last leg. I don't think it's normal because I can't remember. I'm pretty sure the cartridges are supposed to stay still. They shouldn't move. I can't, I'm not too sure. I need to look up on it. But um, yeah, while I was playing it, it kept resetting. And it's like, mm, stop resetting. And then for some reason, my capture software wasn't locking onto it. <laughs> and then to kick me while I'm down, none of the audio recorded. So I got the soundtrack to Pokemon Stadium, just added some music to the background and just chopped up the episode with the best bits. and. I was so pissed because I did a free battle first and right on the last Pokemon I was going to win. Reset and I'm like, oh, you bastard. So that was a very you know, stressful night there but in the end I managed to get some footage and for this episode because that was the intention for it as well. I wanted to get some footage for this episode and I managed to do that and I was going to do Pokemon Snap, I got the right cartridge this time. <laughs> I was going to do Pokemon Snap, but it wasn't so long ago I've actually done a full playthrough on it. I went through the whole game and yeah, had a really good time with it. So I've already got the footage for that, so maybe in a few years I will jump back into it. But yeah, I, I think we played Pokemon Snap a bit late because what it was, because a load of the kids in the street, it was like, you know, oh, you know, we've got an N64, let's all have a go and play. And we mainly played Pokemon Stadium because it was two player and the mini games were so much fun. And because every other kid, me and Luke in the street, we were the last ones to get the N64. We were the first ones to get a PlayStation. But yeah, we were all sort of, it was like, so we had the PlayStation, someone had the N64, and some may have had a Super Nintendo, and we also had the Mega Drive. So it was like, all of our group of friends, it was like, we all had you know, availability to a console. But everyone had the N64, so it was handy when you know, we were doing like Pokemon Stadium, we had four controllers. So we did buy one extra, because you know, twins, you gotta be fair, gotta buy two controllers. So yeah, that was really good. That was a fun morning, you know, all the kids come around and all this. When I say kids, I'm a kid as well. It's just, you know, my brother keeps saying, oh, my friends and these people, I'll just say, you know, the other kids in the street. So yeah, after all that, and you know, they all went home and had their dinner and all that stuff. We finally booted up Pokemon Snap and I remember seeing it and another kid in, like, in school, he talked about it and I went, oh, that sounds like really like a lot of fun. I wish I could play it and I finally got that chance. And when I did the playthrough, because I know everything, it's pretty quick, but man, Luke spent a good chunk at this, like almost a year trying to beat this game. The one that was killing us was the, the mystery Pokemon. You know, you got to take the pictures and all that stuff. And guys, I mean, it's not a waste of time. It was so much fun going through each level and like looking for each, you know, little clues on what to do. And I remember it was the the coughing one in the volcano. I was just being, I was like, oh, where is it? And I was throwing the balls and Luke was like, hang on, aim the camera, aim the camera. And we got the picture and it was a coughing. I was like, oh, good spot. So when we finally beat it, it was like, you know, it was an accomplishment and yeah, now that I think about it, I um, I want a second game. I really want a second game. I think it could work. I reckon, you know, they could, you know, somehow do it for the Switch. I mean, sorry, I mean, just positioning. I'm not, <laughs> you know, that stuff. So, yeah, that was really, really fun. I'll never forget when we finally got to the last level. What was it? Rainbow Cloud or Rainbow Island? I forget what it was called to get the Mew picture. And, yeah, me and Luke were just struggling to get the picture. We're thinking, what do we do? What? Because, you know, you, you break the shield and then it's like, you know, he flies around and you can't get that picture. And it wasn't until I realised that you could throw the pest balls at him. Oh, it? I, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's got a gender, no. I can't remember. At Mew, I'll say. So I was just throwing him. I thought maybe you couldn't because it's too far away. And it wasn't until I just lobbed it in a direct hit. And I was like, oh, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. And he's like doing... And we're getting closer and closer, locked onto my camera, ching, 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 ching. and I got the perfect picture, dead center, full picture, and I was like, yes, got him. So I actually remember the day we did beat the Elite Four. We um, we made friends with uh, these new kids on the block. They, 
I don't know if they lived there for years, but me and Luke just, you know, happened to be out the street one day and they were, you know, playing, you know, you know, doing their own thing and we, you know, back then we're kids, you know, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm Liam, this is Luke, you know, oh, do you want to hang out? Should we, you know, what do you want to do? And that kind of thing. And we invited them over to play, you know, Pokemon Stadium and that was a fun day because me and Luke always struggled with it. We couldn't get past the fine, I think Lance, the fine, no, that's Poke, that's, um, Silver, I think. I no, Lance, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Can't remember. Oh, man, my, my law has gone. But we couldn't get past the final person in the Elite Four, so, yeah, we invited him over. It was like, oh, we've got Pokemon Stadium, you know, let's, you know, do you want to play? Because it was easier to do a co-op game, you know, kind of thing. And they said, oh, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, we, you know, we've um played it as well. So, yeah, good thing. We all played it, we're familiar. And we get, went through the Elite Four, and it was like, Oh my god, we're gonna do it! And he picked—I uh, forget which Pokemon he picked. He just picked. I think he kind of knew like what to pick, and he did it. And the last match, and we're like, "Oh, all right, calm down, just calm down. We got this. We got this. You got this. You got this." And the final hit went in, and it was like, ah, "We did it! We finally got through Pokemon Stadium!" And God, it was a joint effort to get it done because it was so many retries, and we thought. We, it's not going to be the same person. Yeah, take a break. Next person, give it a go. And yeah, we <laughs> finally did it. And the best thing about this game, the mini games. And in Pokemon Stadium 2, the mini games were just even better. I really love the mini games. Apart from the bloody hypnosis one with Drowsy, that was such a pain. And the Clefairy one, that was a pain as well. But I loved the um, uh, the Rattata one. Yeah, that was always a fun one. And you know, just the music with it, just really cool. And uh, oh, what was there was another one I really really like. Oh, Pokemon Stadium 2. I like the cut one where it's, just, it's like the tense. I don't mean to jump ahead in the future, but just the tense moment you're waiting for the logs to like the logs to drop, and it's like it's dropped, <laughs> and then hit it. And so yeah, mini games were really really cool, and it was. I think what was really good it was like you didn't want to just battle all the time, and this was a nice sort of break from that. And yeah, it was really really fun. I just wish they did more. I reckon they could have done a lot more. Unfortunately, what I don't have, I don't even know if we still got it, because we got, like, a, you know, it's the Pokemon Stadium Edition, or the Pokemon Edition. We got a, um, a VHS tape of the first four episodes of the Pokemon anime, and I can't for the life of me remember where I put it, and I, what, I, I feel, it's, I don't mean to sound, you know, like an asshole. I wasn't prepared to dig through, air, like, days worth of, you know, stuff just to show you the videotape for five seconds. Uh, what I will do, I'll try and find an image online and post it, but it was a yellow tape, it was really cool, and yeah, while we were eating our dinner, we were running Pokemon in the background, so yeah, that was really fun. Just, oh man, Pokemon was just, it was the perfect time for Pokemon. And then it kind of sort of just drifted off from years to come, and then, yeah, a couple of years ago, we got back into it again, and I thought when I started Kane Talks Games, I knew one year I was gonna do you know, the N64, because last year I did the Game Boy. So it was only a matter of time, but see, I don't know what I want to do for next Christmas. It would have to be, you know, something I got for Christmas. Not too sure, but anyway, I'll end it there. This was just going to be a short one, because, yeah, like I said, just with Pokemon, you know, the N64 console and the games, it was yeah, going to be a fairly quick episode, and just to get a Christmas special out there, and, you know, hopefully I don't have to, because with the Punisher and the other episodes, I really, you know, put, you know, effort in to make sure that everything's all sort of synced up, you know, I take cuts in between each segment, whereas this one I've sort of gone, you know, non-stop. I mean, I've had a couple of, you know, cuts in between, but yeah, I thought, I won't stress myself too much, I'll just have a good time with this episode, you know, get a Christmas special going, and yeah, I'm very happy to have finally talked about, you know, the N64 and Pokemon Stadium for an episode of Kane Talks Games. And I will end it there. Thank you all for watching everyone and I hope you all have a happy Christmas and a happy new year.